Kage, uh, Kage, uh Run up from the bottom to the top place Yeah, I'm a little legend from the village Hit him my way Now they tryna copy like a catcher Doing cosplay, put it into work Got me feeling like Yahweh Y'all waiting for the Messiah I'm with the God play Y'all better stop, y'all better watch Came through flooded Come my drip, oh, Kage, uh How are y'all doing, bro? Uh, I hope you look I have a good day. In today's video uh, it might be a little bit longer. We're just gonna be talking for a bit, which is literally all I've been doing for so many videos. First of all, no, the, the Roblox anime community isn't gonna like be destroyed or anything like that. That's not happening. No time soon. Definitely not happening. However, what people are worried about right now is all the stuff that's happening. So I'll just we'll, we'll do a little recap. For everybody that doesn't remember a lot of the stuff that happened. First off, this game is Shindo Life. It got copyright strike. This was like a message. This right here was Shindo Life. This was a message to everybody that was planning on making an anime related game in the future. What this what this what this told anime like relatively relatively anime related game creators was that this it, it's saying it's a message. It's saying that if you have an anime game and the owners of whatever copyright material you're drawing on, in this case Naruto, decide that hey they're making money because they were making a lot of money if you're making money off of our content then i'm gonna sue you for it or not sue that's dumb well not not dumb but you guys get what i mean like they don't own the content all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna just use this as an example first game we're talking about is adopt me you guys know what this is if you play roblox you know what adopt me is 320,000 players insane props to them they took an original idea or i don't know they might not have if they took inspiration from something let me know in the comments down below but i know it's sure as hell not based off something copyrighted and you could say the sims but i don't really agree with that you have this game right and then we have this game so this this has like relatively no copyright i can't see anything copyrighted just from the home page and i did play that once for like a stream it was a meme but i played it once didn't enjoy it because that's just not my type of game personally but yeah, I don't see any copyrighted content. I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. But yeah, Hunter X Hunter X Men Valley. This is an anime, all right. And that right off the bat, that's red flags. It's an anime. It can get copyrighted because they don't own the anime. And it's just that simple. If you're drawing inspiration from something that you don't belong, that's something that you don't own. You can get copyrighted for it because it's not yours. And this is one of the main reasons why uh, anime-related developers are just scared. Now. Shindo Life was a pretty big red flag. Shindo Life, 57,000 players, which is amazing. But before the copyright strike, they were averaging 130,000 players every single day. And the game deserved it because it wasn't bad. The game wasn't bad at all. Like I was playing the game every single day until this happened because it was just fun and it was content. I just wanted to play it for fun. And I could do videos on it. I could live stream it. I could just chill. It was honestly a really relaxing game. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like the best. It, was, it wasn't a game changer, but it was a good game. It was a damn good game. Now they have less than half of their daily player base. And, you know, I've seen some stuff on their Twitter. They're, you know, you just got to get through life. Like, there's nothing I can really say about that. Anything you're going through, you just got to get through it. That's really it. At the end of the day, you got to get through it. They have friends to support them. So I'm sure they'll be all right. But yeah, this was a warning. This was a message to everybody who wanted to make an anime game. This, what this game, what this says to you, like this is Shindo Valorant. What this says to you is that if you have an anime related game, you're not drawing inspiration from your own ideas. You're drawing inspiration from something that doesn't belong to you. And a lot of people are going to make the argument, oh, you can take an anime and transform it to your own game. And yes, you can do that, but you're still drawing onto something that doesn't belong to you. Now, a decent example of something or some game that took inspiration from an anime and made it their own completely. And I can say this completely because, you know, they did. They made this completely their own. And the game was a success, a huge success. And it was, was Rogue Lineage. You already knew I was going to say it. You knew I was going to say it. The moment I said a huge success, you knew I was going to say it. Rogue Lineage. So it was originally based off of um, Fullmetal Alchemist. I watched him for Nasa's video, really good video. Um, go check it out. He did like a 12 minute video on it, but I watched his video. I agree with what ex everything that he said in that video. I agree with it. I think Main's making a video too, so definitely go check his out. But honestly, what do you expect? Like really, what do you expect when you take something that doesn't belong to you? Like you can't make the argument that, oh, they transformed it to their own because they really didn't. Shindo Life even now, even now, Shindo Life really isn't their own game. Like everything that they've done is still based off of Naruto, regardless of if it's named Naruto or not. Like it's just, it's just, it, it, I'm not trying to offend anybody like with this, what I'm saying right now, but even if you don't want to say it, it's, I mean, Bloodline Bolt, I guess that's not, I don't know what that is, but 
you have some uh susano tensei gone um i don't know it's probably mangeki of sharingan tail beast just called tail spirits a remodel now uh, either way everything is based off of they're calling shishui satori akuma but like literally they're still using naruto related for the most part mostly naruto related things so hey uh big ups on them and their success but hey that's not what i'm talking about right now i'm talking about the stuff that's happened four attack on titan games were taken down and let me clarify with you guys these attack on titan games were not taken down for the reasons that you guys might think they were two of them were closed after seeing the other two get taken down they were closed to make sure that nothing got bad could happen now what this means is that these are first of all first of all these are not being taken down for copyright they're not being taken down for copyright they're taken down because of the nudity and titans and it's not because of copyright that is leading people to not want to develop anime games that's not why it's because of the fact that well first of all there's already a lack of ideas everybody's making a bandit beater i can go on my home page right now let's go on my home page <laughs> and i'm just gonna click the link you guys can come with me i'm gonna, I'm gonna click on my home page and we're just gonna go through how many of okay my google is lagging today but yeah, we're just going to go through how many of these games on my homepage are, are bandit beaters. This game, Street Strikers, I haven't actually gotten a chance to play that yet, so we're going to move past that. ABA, I'm not going to talk about that. Mother, that's a pretty good original. Well, no, it's not even original because they draw on an anime, so we're going to move past that too. Grand Piece Online, a bandit beater. Just scripting stuff, a bandit beater. GPO level test, that's just Grand Piece Online level testing. Ignore that. Um, Wisteria, this is the definition of a bandit beater. I don't like... I guess it's not a bandit beater, but it's still a very grindy game. People are just tired of that kind of game, man. Ultimate Finale, probably the biggest bandit beater to release in 2021, which is not an accomplishment since it's only 14 days into the year. But yeah, huge bandit beater. Reaper, as much as I hate to say it, it's a bandit beater. Um, there's a, probably not too many more, I don't think. Don't question that, by the way. But uh, yeah, bandit beaters. That's what's going on right now. A lot of bandit beaters. Now, the owner of Ultimate Finale. First of all, what's going on with the owner of Ultimate Finale is very sad. I just want to say that it's very sad. It's not exactly like anime games on Roblox are dying. That's not what's happening. What's going on with this dude specifically is like sad. Um, remind me never to make an anime game again. What happened with this game, Ultimate Finale, is that his community kind of turned against him. So he was pressured to release his game. He was pressured to drop Ultimate Finale. He dropped it. They didn't like it after he rushed the game for his own community and he i mean i don't have to talk about the game all right i think personally personally i think this game is extremely fun but after i hit level 60 something me and my friend just didn't touch the game and it, it's not a bad game at all but it is a very easy game to just go oh i'm not gonna play this anymore same exact thing i did for grand piece online and yes i did a video on grand piece yesterday but i don't know if you guys have noticed all my grand piece videos that's just me talking over me playing the game and I'm not playing the game. I'm just walking in a circle while I'm talking. That's all. That's literally all I do. All my game studios. I just walk and talk in a circle. <laughs> but um, yeah, 149 players. I honestly think this game is gonna come right back after it gets an update. That's my honest take on it. Like it's just gonna come back. I'm not worried about that. It, it's gonna come back. I, I guarantee it. So even if you're watching this, take your head back up. And yeah, man, I agree with everything going on. A lot of people will comment into this. I don't think this game is dead. I think that if it if, if it updates, I think this game is going to go crazy for a few days and it's going to go right back down. And honestly, it's it's weird to me how this game is like doing less. Well, it's not doing like, like I didn't think it was going to do as good as Grampy's, but I sure didn't think it was going to be like this, like low on players. I, I honestly figured that it would be close to where Grampy's was because this is a paid access game. You guys got to remember this is a beta too. So yeah, um, I think I said the majority of what I had to say. I'm gonna kind of close this video up. I just wanna say a few things before I go. First of all, Roblox anime games aren't dying. A large majority of people are just tired of these types of games. And I am too, because a lot of anime games that come out on Roblox are literally just bandit beaters. That's all these are. They're just bandit beaters and I'm tired of them. I really am tired of them, man. I'm so tired of these bandit beaters. Ultimate Finale and Grand Piece Lion, two bandit beaters, man. Both of them are bandit beaters. I don't care what anybody says, those are bandit beaters. All-Star Tower Defense, 45,000 players. It's an original game. Whether or not it draws on copyright doesn't matter. They still take their own useful original application of going about it. And that's why they're so popular, but they're still susceptible to copyright content. So honestly, making a Roblox anime game right now is probably not the smartest move. I personally wouldn't because 
you can get copyrighted. Copyright exists, and even if it only happened for one game, what that basically means is if your game hits a, a point where it's noticeable and it's seen that it has copyright content in it, you can get screwed over for that. So I, what are the devs gonna do? Try to not get as many players as possible? Like that just stupid, that just doesn't work. So yeah, um, honestly my take on it, uh, this is an attack on Titan game up right now? Wait, what? Last breath? Wait, okay, wait a second, hold up. Where the attack on Titan is, put back up. Freedom, wait a second, wait a second. Where, where the attack on Titan is taking back up? Okay, no, I don't think they were. I think this is just a stress test, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So the actual games weren't. Okay. Yeah, I figured. So I don't know why this is up. But hey, that's just my take on everything, y'all. Um, I, This video probably wasn't going to be that long. But honestly, this this crap with the anime community. Uh, Look, bro, a lot of Infernos's video after me watching it, a large majority is him talking about how he thinks that people should stop making anime games and i don't want to see that man i i i, I don't want to see people give up on roblox anime games because that's what personally got me into the anime community i got into the anime community because of roblox anime games that's just me i don't know how you guys got here but i got here from trash uh dragon ball games that were good at the time but that's how i got in man and honestly, dev, uh, game owners, if you're watching this and you plan on making the game in the future, you really just got to make sure that you know who you are, because obviously the internet is not your friend. OK, let's get that away. <laughs> the internet is not your friend, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are. The internet is never going to be on your side, no matter how like how much effort you put into something. OK, so, yeah, that's my take on everything. Um, I'm going to try to stay as neutral as possible with this. I don't want to see anime games get taken down, but I do completely understand if somebody wants to stop making an anime game because of the copyright that does exist that, that is success that like copyright exists it can happen it, it does happen not just on roblox and a lot of other platforms so if somebody were to stop making a roblox anime game i wouldn't blame them because there's always that ultimatum that at the end of the day their game could be taken down and you don't know but uh yeah that's it for me see ya